The IdeaPad 3 comes back as a strong entry to the budget market, bringing back its large 17.3-inch display, but upgrading to Zen 3 hardware, with the Ryzen 5000U series, which is our recommendation if you need bang for the buck performance. Stick around to see if the IdeaPad 3 is a laptop you fancy, with all of its pros and cons. As this is a more affordable notebook, you do get a plastic chassis. Expectedly, the build quality isn't the greatest, as both the lid and base show a bit of flex. However, the plastic also keeps the laptop light, as it comes in at just 2.04 kg while having a profile of 19.9 mm. The design is a win for us, as it's simplistic and minimal, with a reflective Lenovo logo. The laptop doesn't open with one hand, but once it's opened, we like what we see. The bezels on the display are slim, while still housing an HD webcam with a shutter. The base has a keyboard with a numpad, however, the key travel is short, and the feedback is inconsistent. The touchpad comes with the well-known Mylar cover while retaining its responsiveness and accuracy. The input-output shows its budget nature as well, offering a single full-sized USB 5 gigabit port, an HDMI 1.4B port, a 5 gigabit USB Type-C port, and an audio jack, all on the left. Then, on the right, there's an SD card reader and one USB 2.0 port. This is where the laptop shines, as the large 17.3-inch Full HD IPS panel shows a peak brightness of 350 nits, as well as 96% sRGB coverage and great color accuracy once we use our design and gaming profile, which lowers the Delta E value down to 1.2. It also shows no PWM usage, so you're safe if you use it for longer durations. We'll link all of our display profiles in the description below. The laptop has a small 45 watt hours battery, however, with the Zen 3 CPUs, it still manages to last for 9 hours and 45 minutes of web browsing, or 7 hours and 16 minutes of video playback, which is good. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. You can choose between three Ryzen processors, the Ryzen 3 5425U, Ryzen 5 5625U, and Ryzen 7 5825U. We settled for the Ryzen 7, which shows excellent 3D rendering performance, outclassing the Core i7 1255U. It is slower than the Core i7, but not by much, so we're definitely giving props to AMD. The Ryzen 7 doesn't need a lot of cooling to succeed, so with one heat pipe and one fan, it's pretty safe from overheating. The CPU does well in both short and long runs, while the larger body doesn't really contribute any extra power. The wattage remains above the base 15 watts mark. We also have to mention that the laptop is really cool and quiet under heavy load, which some people value a lot. There is a lot of space on the motherboard, however, the laptop still employs soldered memory, with up to 8GB of DDR4 RAM. It also has a SODM slot, while the storage can be upgraded through one M.2 slot. It supports generation 4 drives, however, since the CPU doesn't, you shouldn't spend extra on them. There's a separate 2.5-inch drive bay for a SATA drive, so you can have bulk storage for your projects. We have a teardown video, which shows how to access the RAM and storage slots on the IdeaPad 3. The IdeaPad 3 does have high highs, like the display, battery life, and performance, however, there are lows too, like the build quality and the keyboard. If you can look past that, you can get a powerful machine for a very affordable price that can handle professional grade video and photo editing. For more information about the Lenovo IdeaPad 3, 17 inches, 2022, check out our written review on our website, which provides further testing and benchmarks.